Yes, yes. Welcome back to another episode of Electrician TV. I'm Will from Will's Electrical Services. In tonight's episode, we go back to my old primary school and what we do is we wire all the corridors and certain rooms and carry out some remedial works with microsensor lights. The reason we've chose them lights is that they're going to cover all the old, so there's going to be minimised the decoration. Let's roll the intro. Yeah. yeah. Yes, if you could do us a massive favour and show your support for the channel, because it feels like I'm dancing on my own out here, if you could like, follow, subscribe, and leave a comment. The comment's quite important to me because I wasn't born an electrician, so if you've got any questions, then leave it below. It helps the channel grow. Helps the channel grow. Helps the channel grow. Helps the channel grow. <laughs> this week, we could do an introduction because I know where we're going to be most of it. We're back at my junior school. What we're doing, Jack, is if you just pan along this corridor. So we're just rewiring these lights. What we're going to do is, uh, at the moment, it's all in metal conjure, but what we're going to do is what we found when we wired it, it was all tin aluminium cables, all insulators and resistance was really low, uh, plus they're all crap. So we're going to put the micro sensors lights all the way through here and in here as well, them changing rooms and the staff from down there. But what we're doing today is I'll just take them along. Right, so we're at the other part of the school now. So see these ones here, the, the, the cabling on these ones are actually okay. So we're just changing these bulkheads because they're all, you know, like they're looking for energy saving. So these micro sensor lights, what they are is as you walk past and they detect you and they come on, you know what I mean? So they're not burning all day long. So we're changing these, these two that corridor plus there's a, a little room there and plus when we've done the uh, when we've done the test there was a few remedials that we could do like a ball change the main parts rewind that but um ollie's still at creamfields reese and lenny are at call out and the others are doing the first fix so let's get into it major can so yeah. we've had the delivery so that's all the cabling for this end that's all the light fittings bits and bobs as i say there is some remedials i think we're changing the fuse board up here as well we're having a big charge up as well so that fuse board's being changed i'm actually contemplating whether to uh, run all these new lighting circuits from this fuse board because this fuse board literally just does these sockets and that in here where down the other end it's all mem shield two so I'm not sure if they've got the RCBOs for them or not, or whether I don't really, I've not really decided because there's not really that many lights. These rooms were refurb, so the, the schools had a massive development in the village. Sorry, the villages had a massive development, so they had a big uh, um, extension done on the school, like anticipating all new kids and it never really happened, so. But these, these rooms don't really get used. Yeah, think. so the Wanderer returns. Yeah. So tell us about this speedboat experience that I invested in. Absolutely mental. You're going, you went, uh, you're doing, uh, what's that? 60 miles an hour. 60 miles an hour. Well, I might be in Cromwell. Yeah, so that's probably 50, but still proper rapid. Yeah. You're, you're giving your mates backies, weren't you? Yeah. Just had a mankini on, didn't he? About, about five of us on one bit five year old <laughs> so yeah, all these ones are done so i'll give you a prime example of these so that's basically what they do decent aren't they yeah brilliant that one's an emergency and that one's an emergency we've removed that switch and then i've just got that case switch there for them which is absolutely perfect I think they're going to be well chuffed with these. They're half the what? They're half the wattage. I think they're 14 watts, and I think the other ones were 28. And plus, obviously, they're never going to be on like these old ones used to bake all day long. You know what I mean? And then this one is on a switch as well because this is actually a quiet room, or what they call a quiet room. So I thought, obviously, if they want to isolate them, they can turn them off. Well, I think these are obviously turned off. So if I stand still and see what they're like, then they go off and bang. Now they're on, now they're on. See the old red dot for the sensor then comes on. 
athletes, aren't they? Then you can turn them off because this is a quiet room. I think this is for if the kids are sick or naughty, they come in here. What we do is we just use the hand saw to cut this down free, so one hour all you need. Okay. But the lighting trunk is a bit more uh, harder to do. But right, Ollie. yeah, can you hold this light? Actually, you want to come back a little bit for further. So that's going to be right on top of you. Yeah, burnt. Yeah, and that's how we're doing it. Got Reese doing the board there. We've got all these lights stripped out here, all the lighting trunk. Here. Look, Ollie's got a bit of a tan. Look, back from Creamfields. How was it? Your face is well burnt up. Every single one of us has got a better tan than Ebsy, who's been away to Cyprus. But I suppose, to be fair, he's been off his nut and he, so... So we've got all these lights all done. Getting out all these ones. There's Ebsy. So we're just doing all these. There's Jackie Boy prepping all the lights up and all that. We're not doing any work. So these were the ones that have been refurbed. So hello, Jackie Boy. Hi. Jackie Boy's doing all those. Got Leslie uh, from the office, she's up here, so she's helping us with a few quotes and rather keep going on the phone. Say hello, Leslie. Hi. 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 Uh, Ollie's up here, so let's go. Yeah. So, Ollie, so what we got up there then, Ollie? Um, so, we've got a flat ceiling up here, which we've taken the uh, middle part out, but we can't take this part out because there's pipes that yeah. are going through. So, they, um, what we're going to do is we're going to with a uh, long level, we're going to cut along the, uh, the wood. The joist. Yeah, yeah. And the joist, so uh, it can go back down and then take this side up. As I say, have I ever told you, Ollie, that I, was, I remember one day I had two folk when I was probably about seven years old, and I sat on the end of that bench all day, just... <laughs> Parents didn't care about it, and so you just had to log it out to your window. Man, I'll never ever forget. They used to have a fountain over there as well, and a man, that is the longest day of my life. <laughs> I tell you, I always think about that. Yeah, so these are all going to go. So we're getting there, should be all right. We shouldn't knock out most of this today, don't you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, we're, most of us, yeah. You should be able to see that above to get rid of that, yeah? yeah I think it all goes into trunk. Yeah. We are going to rewire this socket as well, yeah? We've got some sockets to do, but I think we just do re, re do this switch. Uh, you keeping it that in your conduit or are you replacing it? Yeah, we're going to replace all the conduit, yeah. We're just going to do it, yeah? So there's no switches. We're just going to have local uh, key switches. Yeah, just going to have these ones. These are all done, this one. These ones in there. Yeah, we're just going to have these ones done. Yeah, we're just going to have these ones done. It's just, yeah, they're all just going to be these all automatic lights, you know what I mean? So should be a good one, shouldn't it, Ebs? Yeah. Right, yeah, I'll turn it round and I can tell them all about my uh, Tuesday night football. No goals. No goals, but Tuesday night football, no goals, but I was an absolute midfield general. I got carried off. They were like, you, they were like, you cross between Canty and Fabregas. I was just... <laughs> right, so what we're doing is we're wiring a ring main for where Reese is, he's changing the fuse board. We're wiring a, a ring main and a lighting feed. So we've already got a couple down there. And what there is, is when they've done their new sub main for this armour, they've run a basket. There's a basket, well, I think there's a cable tray for the armoured, and there's also a basket. I'll try and show you. It's a bit of a state, but when the lads are uh, tie-wrapping it all in the basket, I'll show you. See, there's got all that basket there. Look, there's old Lennon's all suited and booted, because... He's amongst it, isn't he? But that basket goes all the way, Linus, doesn't it? Yeah, all the way down. Oh, all sweet. the way down. Yeah, nice. So it's getting there. So we pull these ones as long as this one, and we won't cut them on the drum that way. We get them long enough this end, yeah. and then we can work it out from there, yeah? Right. Sweet, Linus. Really forgot to record. So it's Wednesday morning. Me and Jackie Boy, they've wired some of the sockets. We've done one round there, we'll show you. But I'll give you a quick tour of what we're doing. So we're just putting up all these lights. And all that, we're ready to rewire them. We're taking some of these boxes. We have a look quick in here. Reese has just stripped out all the cables. So everything we were rewiring was fed from this Memshield 2 board, which didn't have RCD protection. So we've moved it all to the new board up there. It's surge protection, like you can see, like Reese is just still changing the board. So that's why that's locked off there, yeah. See that, Jackie boy? Yeah. Oh, cameraman Jackie boy. Yeah. So these are the two lighting feeds that one's going to do the corridor and round there in the plant room. 
and then we've got enough one lens in here. They're all suited. Lens got got putting that all up because they're up in the loft. Plus, and all all these ceilings, none of these have got asbestos on on it. Oh, there is a register, and we know where they are, so we're nowhere near them. But we're still masking up and doing all that. So we've got all these lights. We've got wired today. We've got all oh, Ebsy's there, all kitted. Yeah, and then we're just uh, we're doing all these lights. So we've got we've put mounted them all up because Ollie's in the other part of the school putting up different lights. So as soon as he's done them, these are ready to go. I'll just quickly show you. We're doing we're doing a bit on the conduit, me and you anyway. Yeah, but this is what we're doing. We're just mounting the uh, twenty five mil pipe because we've got two five FP. And they're a bit of a bind to get in, even in twenty fives, but. We've just got our, uh, that top bit there, we've just got to make sure that they can uh, pull the pipe in at the top, yeah? Wow, let's crack on with it, Jackie boy. He's just out here, he's just changing these wall lights in your Ollie. Yeah. What it is, is that they had these up and down ones, but where the absolute little midfield generals keep knocking them down, they were them angled ones there. So Phil had these, they took them down from out at the back, so we're just changing them for them, anyway. Cinematic looks decent on it. Look, yeah, yeah. Record us. I want to chat some better shit. Yeah. So basically, this used to be my primary school. That building there is all new. All this is new. This has been refurbished. And where this is here, it used to be an old building here. And oh, mate, we used to tug of war over there. Is it tug of war? Do they call it tug yeah, of war? Yeah, tug of war. No, when it's American football, where you just batter each other oh and then the hidings i've got it's not is it tug of war it's piggy in the middle yeah and then we used to have got football down there just absolutely blessed oh, that's where that's where the michael essien of walking was born well it's just going to demonstrate how easy it is to use the old uh, nipex ergo on the fp200 yes. well good As I was saying, well, all he knows because he's seen it, but Jakari used to, I always used to use a Jakari for this. Yeah, for instant. Them. Yeah. What you've got to do is literally clamp it down, twist. Perfect, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely perfect. Bunch. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at the tooling. It's got the uh, stuff on there for like actual stripping inner cores as well. Yeah, I like that middle blade for yeah, doing the armour. Slice it down, that's yeah. well good. Yes, yeah, this one goes out to the M2. Oh, no, Jesus. Kia. That's yeah, why it's got a hood. Yeah, but it gets too what? Yeah. Yeah, but gaze. Okay, you're missing him a cinematic. Hey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> He's got the worst hand out of all of us. The gaze has been in Cyprus for a week. I swear, they're all off up You made up birds. Your sister, bro. Cinematic chin. Look, we've got some growth. Even got some colouring on it. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Chitty chin chin! <laughs> right, so Ollie's just finished that light. And what we're doing there is, uh, it's all been P-clipped upside. So what we're doing is we're putting this fire sealant. We was hoping to put, I oh, don't know, I'll go up a bit higher so you can see. So we was hoping to put uh, stuffing glands in, but we just, where this ceiling's shot to pieces, we just cannot penetrate it anymore. So we've had to use the holes that we've got. See that one there, that one was uh, on a joist. So uh, that's where we've had to go through. And all in all, should be all right. Should be able to go on though. Right, so it's Friday morning, I've, I watched back of the videos and I noticed that I've got every single day wrong because it was bank holiday. So Ollie's up here second fixing all this. This is a staff room. So he's got the same here. We've got these ones done yesterday. So I'll give you a quick demonstration. So see that they're all automatic. Perfect. Got enough one around there. Then we've got the ones down there. So they literally come on as you get close to them, which is absolutely perfect. So we just literally got to do that stuff. We've got to wire these ones today. Ones in there, we've got all these sockets all done. We've got the main, so now, that is open still like that because we've got to do that's this switch one is for the floodlights outside so we're actually bringing them to there we and we're fire sealing them i'll move away because it's flickering then we've got these ones to do today around here got the key switch for this area here them ones are not emergency it's only these two so we've got the key switch for that one 
this key switch here does this whole corridor and then this changing rooms have got a key switch that's going to go there yeah that is redundant but they've that's been kept in there because it's full of asbestos and then rather so i've just got to label that redundant because reese has uh, stripped that out got that socket there that's all up and running now we've just got to do the filling and all that so it's going really well it's coming out really neat to be fair which we always expected it to and Reese has labelled that all up so if you can see most of it's all spare now we've just got to uh Leslie's going to come down and we're going to use the laminator and uh change all the all the uh certs and uh schematics for the boards so when we're doing the test we just laminate them and then just put them in there Ollie got them lights done I'll quickly show you they're the two light fittings that Ollie got changed for those they were those ones that were hanging off but they've been changed so they should easily be able to take a few pound ins because obviously the boys and that the boys and girls are playing football up here so they're smashing them but obviously this this uh this uh gym stroke hole is only about I think it must be about five six it must be about five years old I think I think when we first started doing the World Cup here about five years ago it was brand new when we first yeah so what is it, it must be five six years because I've tested it twice now this didn't need testing because it was still in date and it was only this time around that we tested it so it's gonna be five or six years time but obviously the architect who designed all this and had all them light fittings didn't really think about the playground did he because like you can see all the feather boards been hammered by balls and it you know what i mean right let's get into it talk us through it then yeah all right um this is how we do the settings on these esp micro sensor lights so for the uh daylight settings we go for zero luck so they come on all the time. We are, we are at a school. So, so that's uh, one, two, and three. Yeah. And it's which way round does it go? So, so the daylight setting is the side, this side. And I always oh, so it's the work right hand out. side. Yeah, the side with the uh, push terminals. Yeah. That's the same size as that. Yeah. Um, then the uh, time settings, we've gone for 300. Yeah, five so minutes. Five minutes. Um, uh, should we do half hour in here? I suppose they will be sitting in here. Yeah, do half hour. Half an hour, so all... Oh, all do 15 minutes. 15, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll be doing 15 minutes in here. Then yeah. the uh, distance, we've gone for 100%. Yeah, because it doesn't really yeah, matter. Yeah, it doesn't really matter as it's in a scroll. Yeah, so yeah. do you just want to show them, so on and off? So do you just want to lift yeah. that up and show them that the terminals? You're setting it up, yeah. So, obviously, because where you've got the circle on the... Uh, that sensor part, you can, yeah. you know, that's easy to see. You can which tell way. which way is which. And Them other terminals, that number seven, whatever that is, has nothing to do with glass, is it? Nah. That great terminal. Hi everyone, I'm Will from Wills Electrical Services and today marks the sixth year birthday of Wills Electrical Services. Something that I never ever really wanted to do is uh, have my own company, but here we are. Right, today I just want to thank a few people like customers, mainly my staff, Ollie who's on the camera and all the, everyone else who's helped me along the way, especially loads of other electricians who gave me loads of different work and all that, which I always pass on as well, because obviously we... I'll just quickly show you how we're marking these, doing these. So literally we've uh, earthed this grid, obviously a standard. And then we've got these. What we've done is we've wired it all in triple because these actual light fittings do not need a switch line. They just need a permanent feed there. So what we're doing in the light fittings up there, look, I'll quickly show you. So this is a prime one. So this one, where these come linked out, they have to be linked out for them to work. So what we're doing is we link them at the switch and then the black is actually the permanent. So for the the batteries so we using this as the key switch for this one is for these two lights here which that's how we're doing it it's the only thing we can do for it that's us done they here so i'll quickly show you so as you move around they come on it's really really nice this is the staff room so these ones are on far far we've got that fuse board change there what we've done is we've rerouted all the cables rewired some of them and got them back to here so all these corridors so they all come on. I think these corridors are all on for five minutes, unless it's a classroom, which we've only done a couple. The other side of there is a plant room, which has just got a couple of lights. So all these corridors are from this key switch down here, which are coming on. 
these all come on. So these, we've rewired all these, which you've obviously seen earlier on. And they come on, they're lovely and sensitive. I tell you, some of them, these ones out here come on. Uh, yeah. That one in there. So these storerooms, these will never be open. This bit will be. But that, so we've hidden the key switch for that one in there. That one goes there, because that's obviously a main, so it's got emergency above it and all that. So we've rerouted all the cables from there. Obviously, you see, you took them all out. That's all sorted. So these key switches actually uh, switch in the, 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 um, the permanent in the light fittings and the switch lines. Reason we've wired it in triple is just in case they ever want to change it or you know change a purpose and all that. I think it would have been a bit irresponsible if we'd have just done it in two core, which it actually could have worked well. But yeah, all sorted. You've got to take that down. That is now redundant. That but that is full of asbestos, so they're not having any of that. Right, bang, and the old boys are hiding in here, so I can just right. So yeah, thanks for watching. You gonna do the thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. Gonna be anything? If you're gonna be anything, be electric. Up, up the old? No. Len, up the old what? Up the old blues. You know Lenners, don't you? Right, cheers for watching. See you later.